building that I wanted to show you um, that where we can put the elderly monkeys or monkeys in hospice care where we have the two-story habitats and some of them have ramps for we have several blind monkeys that have um, uh, on their ramps that has guides so that they don't uh, fall and then inside this will give you a good example of um, what the indoor enclosures look like that you got us and here they are and we need more there goes kuda outside she has metabolic bone disease which is why she's kind of hunched over like that hi wendell wendell doesn't have any eyes but these are oh and manson left he was in here earlier hi johnny and this is little johnny she's the little dwarf monkey and she walks on her hands she doesn't have um, the use of her back legs but she gets around pretty well so there's one, two, three, four, five we're able to have in here. And this one, we just moved these monkeys out to a larger space. So this one is available. We're moving some older monkeys in here tomorrow. But as you can see, they have the nice pans under here that we can easily clean. We can get in and take care of all of their um, all of their needs if they're in hospice care and they need to um, have their uh, have fluids or get injections or anything they can stay with their families and we could take care of Wendell and close Cuda out and you know different things like that so it makes it nice where the monkeys can stay with their families and even if they're in hospice care and they can live together so you can see we've got five of these indoor areas and they're not gigantic but they are big enough for them to come in and sleep and get out of the bad weather.